Hello wonderful people, Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel and today I'm going to be doing a live review of the new tune from Apache, Time Warp. First original solo release of 2021, I think I'm right in saying, right here for Apache, who is on a bit of a high right now following the success of Renaissance, his album which came out last year. I personally wasn't massive on it myself, as most of you know by now, and the remix album following that up as well, I didn't enjoy that much overall either. But the ambition with his music is very clear for all to hear by now. You know, the different genres, the orchestral and kind of classical influence woven in as well. I think, yeah, within bass music, his approach is very unique. So I still do go into anything new from him. More excited than pretty much anything new from anyone else. So yeah, I think that would say quite a lot. This one right here, featuring Sam Kayuki, or just kooky I'm, I'm not entirely sure how to say that name i've butchered it and if i have then do let me know in the comments down below but yeah here on vocal duty i imagine and we've also got a bit of a similar layout with the artwork to renaissance which i found interesting as well yeah maybe it's a kind of continuation of the album of some sorts but anyway hearing it here for the first time and gonna play it through a couple of times and as always provide comment throughout you know how we do by now, let's go. Orchestral, classical influence from the off, kicking off the tune, of course. Wow, about halfway through, very, very interesting so far. Yeah, I mean, that tune, it's just got a Pache stamped all over it, if I'm being honest. You know, got the orchestral and classical influence opening it up with the strings and whatnot. Then we've got the muffled vocal from Sammy again. Well, I'm not going to say his name again because I'm not entirely sure how you say it. But yeah, the execution and just where it's presented there uh, coming off as a bit, yeah, a bit underwater and a bit muffled, giving it this kind of claustrophobic feel, which is quite nice and which permeates the whole of Renaissance actually as an album. Uh, so yeah, very much feeling like a continuation of that. And then conceptually as well, I think what was quite interesting here with the ideas, you know, did have quite a chilled feel to it. And I did expect, uh, I have to be honest, to maybe be just a bit heavier, but then that kind of tune is the exact kind of one that would have fitted in again on Renaissance as one of those maybe interlude moments in between the heavier stuff. A couple of unexpected and maybe weird moments which I think were welcomed as well. Uh, just before the midsection I think we had, you know, it ended and then it had that little brief couple of seconds where it felt a bit airy and maybe a bit distant and that was good, you know, I didn't expect that and it just kind of left it hanging on that note which was done in a very effective way. For me personally the midsection could have maybe been a bit longer as a kind of midway point to uh, regather and regroup. You know, at that point when I was hearing it, I was kind of preparing myself for saying a bit more on that first half, but then the second half did just come in quite quickly following that. So yeah, it's got a kind of, yeah, underlying largeness to it, which I think it could have expanded into in that second half, but no, just goes again for the more chilled stuff. And so, I mean, unless you're really big on that more chilled approach that Apache goes for, when he is bringing in the vocalists and whatnot. I think this track maybe just might come off as a bit underwhelming to you. A couple of moments here that are unexpected and that uh, just, you know, catch you off guard just a little bit. But yeah, for the most part, not really doing all that much, if I'm being honest and feeling like one 
that could have just been built on a little bit more. But yeah, again, that was just the first listen. Now I'm going to hear it again and just see if there's anything else that I can uh, take notice of or become aware of when I do hear it a second time around, which I'm going to do right now with Time Warp by Apache. Let go. I think that sequence as well could have been a bit longer, that introduction with the vocal just expanded a bit. These builds are good though. I do like these builds quite a bit, just kind of building up from below, liking that. It's pleasant, it's fine, it's all right, just a bit chilled, um, which is it's okay, you know, don't mind that approach, but um, yeah, for me just nothing more than okay, I would have to say. Yeah. Yeah, this drop's good to be fair. That little moment, leaving it hanging in the distance, I love. I love that. A little bit heavier, and without the vocal, I think the instrumental just kind of goes to the forefront a bit more. I mean, the vocal does come back in, as we can hear here. But it's good kicking off without it, I think. Hmm. Yeah, definitely enjoying it more after that second listen, I would have to say. You know, still the more chilled moments I'm not that big on, and they just feel a bit ineffective to me. Just okay, just fine. But yeah, I think a lot more here that I just kind of recognised and noticed as stuff in the tune that I really enjoy. Uh, the vocal in parts very good uh, in that kind of muffled execution that we get in the builds uh, kicking off each build which is good the introduction nice with the kind of classical orchestral influence again uh, liking it more after that second listen the builds i think very well formulated and constructed and then also that kind of middle drop that we get uh, very good yeah i like the the heaviness of it uh, not doing too much you know kind of Kind of like a prime example of not going overboard with the sound available when he so easily could have, if you know what I mean. A lot of good here, but for me, just about being outweighed by the fact that those chilled moments uh, are the main moments here and have the biggest say, you know, the most kind of airtime, if you will, in the tune and which I do still find mostly quite ineffective and just okay and fine and not actually doing all that much. So, you know, whilst, you know, there is a lot of good here, the introduction, the vocal in parts, you know, the builds, that middle drop and that hanging moment that we get as an extension of that, uh, yeah, they are good and make for a good bulk of the tune being pretty solid. Yeah, they are outweighed, in my opinion, those aspects, those moments, by the more chilled and ineffective stuff, which, yeah, for me, as a combination of vocal and instrumental, it's fine, it's pleasant, it's quite nice, but yeah, not really doing anything all that much and not really providing any character or personality for the tune overall. So yeah, I think that would be my thoughts on that one. Some good stuff in there for sure, but outweighed for me by the, the focal points, which to me just feel a bit ineffective and not really doing or pulling through all that much on the tune. So uh, yeah, that would be my thoughts on that one, Time Warp by Apache. But there we have it, my live review of the new tune from Apache, Time Warp. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. But yeah, what are you guys making of Time Warp? A bit of a chilled, well, another kind of chilled tune here from Apache, but yeah, what do you make of it? The tune overall, let me know your favorite moments and whatnot. All of that, drop all of your views, thoughts, and opinions in the comment section down below. Beyond that, keep it naughty. If it's naughty, then you know, and I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace.